So why did I ask you to watch this video before you buy that live streaming camera you're thinking of buying? Well, you know what it is? Today, I'm going to give you a few tips to kind of avoid you having to buy a really expensive camera just for live streaming. Do you need it? It can be quite expensive now. I've seen on Amazon, they've got uh, live streaming cameras like the Sony DSLR cameras, the mirrorless cameras as well. Uh, they do offer these options where you can just plug them and they become webcams to be able to use for live streaming. But I'm going to give you an alternative. What you can do is look at additional options that actually save you the time and money of buying a brand new camera. What have you already got? I use a few different things. I have an action camera that I use as a webcam. I use it via HDMI. So actually you can plug in a HDMI cable to it and have it as a camera for live streaming, which helps out quite a lot because you can have multiple angles on your live stream. I have a DSLR camera, which is an old DSLR camera that I use as a webcam. If you're familiar with my channel, you would have seen loads of videos about how I do that. If not, I'll link you in the cards to a video explaining how I use my Canon DSLR as a webcam. I use old um camcorders as well so actual camcorders like you used to use for family videos and i use the hdmi lead on that so i think you don't need to buy a really fancy new live streaming camera what you can do is spend some money on additional things to make your existing camera look really good i did a video recently about getting the best quality from your existing camera by placement lighting and using the right environment for your video all these things will actually make old gear very good quality a lot of the information that i give you is about stuff i already own so that camera is 12 years old it gives perfectly usable video i use separate audio all these things will make up your live stream and give you an opportunity to share what you want to share so the main thing about buying new cameras is spend the money wisely if you have a really good uh, webcam if you have a really good mobile phone did you know you can use your mobile phone as a webcam without any apps you can actually use obs ninja which i talked about in one of my earlier videos where you actually go onto the internet search obs ninja you go into the app well you go into the browser it's not an app and you actually select show my camera and share my mic what that allows you to do is use your mobile phone's camera and mic wirelessly and then go into obs on a computer and actually use that feed and it's actually pretty good you get really good quality for live streaming you could plug it into charge so you can actually go in for longer and longer because a lot of the dslrs and the cameras you buy that are expensive you have to get a special adapter to make sure that they can be powered for long enough and then you'll find the lens might need to be upgraded to get like a nice background blur or the right angle that you want but all these things are something that you will need to build up towards. So what I talk about is the cameras that I use and why I use them. The DSLR gives some nice background blur. A lot of my shots are talking shots when I'm sitting at the desk. So that kind of explains a lot of the stuff I do. Additional angles help out because you can have top down views to show additional things that you're talking about. You can have a side view which shows that as well. And all these things build up your kind of live stream as it were so if you think of making a show or you're teaching some type of uh, courses online all these things make it a lot easier for you to live stream and actually get out to your audience so that is main mainly about not having to buy a brand new camera i'll link you in the description to a few things that you could buy instead of buying a brand new camera lights are very important a good microphone will actually make a massive difference so have a look at those and let me know if those help you if not let me know in the comments below what camera you ended up buying if you did spend all your money I want to know what you spent it on. I'll see you on my next video.